so I really hope you guys are ready for this. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah. No computer. Hold new desk and yeah. Okay. Let me explain. First of all, if you're not following me on Instagram. You guys have no clue what's going on. So you got to follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with the behind the scenes. Second, this video is sponsored by Antec. Antec, thank you so much guys for allowing me to build such an amazing computer. I mean, look at that thing. Completely amazing. Look. Oh, it looks so freaking good. And not only that, but it's a beast. It's completely and out of this world. It's fast as f I'm gonna have to beep that because I can't say bad words on YouTube apparently. Now that being said, there's one thing I don't like about this PC and it's the fact that the CPU keeps giving me some temperature spikes. So I'm gonna have to remove the Wraith and just get a CPU cooler. I am going to be getting the NZXT X52 right now as we speak, right now. Classic me guys, I bought something else, damn it. So I got these wireless headphones, because I need them. I have no headphones for the computer. And a new mouse, because I'm actually getting rid of the MX Master. And I'm going to be giving this a try. Now that we got almost everything we need, I gotta make sure I can move this setup and put it on the new one. And then I will install the NCXT cooler on the machine, and I will show you guys the very final product. 2,000 years later. All right, I really hope you guys are ready for this. I'm gonna give you some B-roll on it because it just looks crazy. All right, so I did install Windows and I installed a few softwares that I actually need and use all the time. Of course, I have my Adobe products going on. I have Spotify and I have a few other things here and there. Now, the thing is that I'm going to be using a virtual machine in order for me to run Ubuntu on it. Last time I did do it on a separate partition. It became very chaotic to the point that my RTX wasn't working anymore. It was just a complete mess. This time is very simple. I'm going to use a virtual machine, install Ubuntu on it and install all my software development tools that I need in order to create software. All right. So the process is fairly simple from here. I can just go ahead and create a new box, leave it there. The name, I guess we can call it Ubuntu Linux Ubuntu 64. That's exactly it. The recommended memory size. I have a lot of, let's split this in half, actually 16 gigs. Now we're simply going to create some uh, space on my hard disk. I don't know how much to allocate, but we can allocate a good amount of space. Let's say three, about, about 300 should do it. Let's just write 300. Now that that's done, we still don't have our OS installed. So we need to go ahead and install our OS. Choose a disk file right here. And there you go. Click start. And of course, sadly, we get an error. Like always, every time I do something, we get an error. So I think my virtual machine capability is disabled my BIOS, so I should probably take a look at that. And this is why I love development. So I just found a Reddit form because I couldn't find it on my BIOS. And this guy pretty much sums it up right here. So what I have to do is go in advanced frequency settings. So if you click there, then apparently I have to go to advanced CPU settings. I have to go to SVM mode, which is what will allow me to do virtualization. And we enable it. There you go. So now it is enabled. So we are pretty much good to go. And I want to go ahead and save and exit this baby. All 
right guys, so it seems like it works. Everything works fine. Of course I have to start using it. I have to start using this a lot. See if nothing crashes or anything like that and make sure that it's reliable because if I'm coding and I lose a bunch of stuff, then that is no fun. Now, that being said guys, this is pretty much my development PC. Now I am going to give Ubuntu a try for a while on a virtual box. If I see that it's crashing and stuff, I'm probably going to use the USL and pick it up from there. You guys will get to see all the behind the scenes on Instagram, so don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you guys can keep up with this stuff. I'll eventually do another YouTube video just, you know, showing you the development workflow and if everything is going pretty much as I expected to. That being said, this is the end of this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for a lot more that will be coming in the next year. Take care, guys. Peace.